Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Shuler Ruler here again. This time we're doing a video on four-way switching. In a previous video, we took a look at different three-way switching configurations, different wiring methods of those configurations, and just kind of ran through the different ways that those switches operated. So we're going to do the same thing in this video, but instead of having three-way switches, what we're going to do this time is take a look at four-way switches. The big difference between three-way switches and four-way switches is that with three-way switching combinations, you have two switches, one at either end of a hallway, uh, one at the top of the stairs, bottom of the stairs, but both of the switches control the same light. Now, in a configuration, there can only be two three-way switches. If you watched the previous video, it'll kind of make sense as to why we only have two three-way switches. However, if we're using four-way switches, the two end switches, so these two right here would still be three-way switches, but then in between with our four-way switches, we could have essentially an unlimited amount of four-way switches if we really wanted to. Okay, As long as those end switches are three-ways, we can have as many four-way switches in the middle as possible. So, same as the last video, let's take a look at these switches and see what's happening inside them. So again, we'll pull the drywall off here so we can kind of see the wiring configuration, but we'd be coming out of our electrical panel with our Lumex or our Romex or whatever we're wiring it with up to our first switch. From there, we'd go out to our four-way switch. From our four-way switch, we would go out to our last three-way switch and then up to our light. Okay, so let's kind of see what's happening here. So it still operates the same as our three-way switch. Okay, I can move those switches into their alternate positions. We're not going to call it on and off again because there really isn't an on and off position. There's just up, down basically and all what happens in between. Okay, so with those switches we can see that I could still operate those like a three-way switch at either end. But the main difference being now that I have this four-way switch in between. So if I flick this four-way switch, my light comes on. I can go over here. This one turns the light back off. I come back over here and I turn the light back on. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens inside these switches. Okay, so we'll break it down again back into our wiring diagram. So you can see we still have our two three-way switches at either end, okay? And in between, this is kind of a representation of what our four-way switch looks like. And if we really break it down, if we think about this black common screw right here and these two travelers, and then we look at this black common screw and these two travelers, it's kind of like we have two three-way switches connected in here, but they operate a little bit differently, okay? So let's just kind of run through what happened uh, when we move those switches into their alternate position. So like our three-way switches previously, we'll take a look at those first. So we'll flip this paddle. We see that now we have this established path for current. If you're following the arrow all the way through to our load, from our load back through our splices on our identifieds, and then back to our panel, which would complete our circuit, which means that our light would be on. Okay, so I go over to this three-way. And now if we follow that path again, we see when we get to this traveler right here that we have a broken path, our light should be off. Okay, now if I go up to, or sorry, we'll flip that back there first. So now we're kind of back to this scenario. So where we have our completed path through our three ways, through our four way, through our three way, back to our panel. Okay, if we go to our four way, when I switch this into the alternate position, it looks something like this. Okay, you can see that this path now comes down like this, this path comes up like that. Those paddles switch to their alternate positions. And if we look at that path for current flow, so if we trace it along with our arrow here, comes to this black screw down through this paddle, down through this traveler, and we hit this point right here where our circuit is broken and our light is now off. If we switch our four-way switch into the alternate position, or three-way rather, okay, we now see that through that path again, okay, down through our traveler, now we're up this paddle, which we have established through moving that three-way switch, and our light is now energized, back through our identified conductor, back to the panel where it completes the path, okay, and now let's move our other three-way switch. So now again, we can kind of trace this through, so we didn't touch our four-way switch this time, but if we trace this path for current, we come down through here, now we're going up through this yellow paddle, across our red traveler, where we get to this brass screw here, and again, our connection is broken, which means our light is off. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip our four-way switch back into its original position, 
Okay, and again, we're going to trace through that path for current. So it comes down the yellow, across the black traveler, across the yellow paddle on the four-way switch, across the black, up the yellow paddle at our three-way, and we have a completed path, which means our light is energized again. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped sort out some three-way, four-way switching. Like I said, the previous video dealt with three-way switching primarily, uh, but this one we just added that, that four-way. And again, you could have the exact same scenario. You could have 10, 20, 30 switches if you really wanted to in between those two three-ways. But again, those outside switches always have to be three-ways in order for this configuration to work. Okay, so hopefully this has helped. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.